fear we make it a family trip where they're trying to figure out let's go to the aquarium let's go to disney let's go to here look i'm just going to give you the facts your income is not enough to support your lifestyle you are driving off a cliff and you're going to take your kids with you i want my kids to know that we support them and we're there but i don't want them to lose the love or the passion for something because we can't afford it i'm willing to sacrifice anything anything um but if there's any way that we can at least keep their life as normal as possible i want to tell you how much we appreciate you guys sharing with honesty my view as i've gotten older is the real way to create generational wealth is to teach your kids how to create their own mm. it like that, no. preach it well listen because one of the hardest things is you're going to have to learn to say something that you guys haven't seen to have said guess what that word is <laughs> i know <laughs> let's get into the homework because all right you guys here is today's outfit i'm sorry for the lighting it's cloudy outside so yeah it's kind of crappy and blurry but yeah i got on some loungewear today just this i think i got this one i don't know where i got these outfits from but yeah this is what i have on for today it is cloudy it is gloomy outside and we are just keeping it casual I just washed my hair so it's kind of it's still wet but yeah i just wanted to be comfortable today and just chill out at home i'm gonna read this book um reminders of him i really like this read so far um it's really good um i'm excited to see what the ending turns out to be all right you guys i'm currently making me some breakfast and then i took out I ended up getting this from Aldi. I need to go ahead and cook it. Um, I ended up getting this pork roast with Tyson pork roast package. I'm going to put this in my Instapot today. I thought about putting it in the slow cooker, but I was like, nah. I'll just go ahead and put it in my Instapot. Uh, I'm going to sear it and then put it in the Instapot. I have some pork roast seasoning that I'm going to use. I think this may, does this come with seasoning? Oh, yeah, it does come with a complimentary season, seasoning packet. So, yeah, I'm going to do this. I don't have to do any cleaning today. I did all of my cleaning throughout the week. So, yeah, this is all I have on the agenda today is to just cook and relax and finish reading my book. All right, my lovelies, we're about to get this pop roast popping. I do need to use... Um, this a lot more hopefully sometime in the new year when my family grows i can use this more often versus just me trying to cook something for me but yeah i got a good deal at this when when instapots first came out i got a really good deal on this one this one is like the one that does kind of like everything you got your broth your meat your cake your eggs your saute rice multi-grains porridge um steam and slow cook but yeah it's like i need to use this more i pay for it i got a really good deal on it i got this is the big one and it was only 50 bucks at walmart so that was years ago it was like in 2018 or somewhere around there but i'm only this is only going to be my third time using this instapot sadly but now i'm about to make this roast i'm going to go ahead and sear it season it and sear it and then i'm gonna put it in the um instapot for about an hour checking up or you must have learned your lesson trying to tell me how i always was a place place stayed in the alley yes but you guessed it. oh yeah i got you too bad i'm about it nigga i'll be fine without you guess you found out all the mothers was about all right, you guys i just sat here it is late and i just finished this book i was determined to finish it today i did not watch tv at all today i just read because this book was too good not to finish um yeah this book reminders of him by colleen hoover i love her as i love her books i also love jasmine guillory's books as well but this one is a good book about 
um, forgiving oneself, forgiving oneself, you know, forgiving others, you know, a mother's love, you know, just redemption and, you know, just making your way back from the darkest parts of your life, you know, and so I love this book. I would give this book a 10 out of 10. I feel like this book definitely needs to be a movie. Um, because we hear a lot of scenarios about absentee dads or, you know, dads that have to make their way, you know, have been absent and things happen and they've had to fight their way to get back into their kid's life. But we hardly ever hear stories about moms. We know there are some moms who lose custody of their kids and they have to fight their way, you know, back to their kids. But it's usually not as forefront as fathers. So, yeah, this is a good book. I would definitely recommend this. Um, this is one of those books where you can actually picture yourself there and you can see the scenes play out as if it were a movie. And I did cry a few times towards the end of this book. I'm not going to lie. Like, just reading it made me cry because it resembles um, some bits and pieces of my life when I was a young mother, you know, just far as, like, having to fight, you know, for, you know, to be around your kids and stuff like that. So, yeah, if I would recommend if you are a mom, you can definitely relate to this book. Um, I guarantee you by the time you get to the end, you will be, you will be like downright crying. So Colleen Hoover never disappoints. Um, I'm going to go ahead and be on the hunt for her next book. But in the meantime, I'm going to read my, um, catch up on some books that I already have purchased and yeah, if you don't have this book, it's not expensive. I think I paid like 10 bucks for it on Amazon. I would definitely put, pick this book up. It's good. You know, it's getting cold outside. We're not going outside as much. So yeah, this is definitely on one of my top 10 list of books. All right, you guys, this is everything I picked up from Walmart and Target. I'm just going to do a quick haul right quick. And I got some things from HEB. Um, first thing I got was this from Target was this Everspring um, disinfectant spray and these Clorox ones. I think that was it for everything. Oh, yeah. And I ended up getting this Amonistat Feminine Cleansing Wash just to have a little extra freshness after my cycles um what else did I, okay this is what i picked up from heb i was out of vitamin c serum so i normally end up getting this vitamin c serum from um heb it's only it's less than five dollars um i also picked up a pack of gum and they had a coupon on nails it was 25 percent off all beauty products and so i picked up two that were on clearance these were $6.97 and these were on clearance for $4 and something. So I ended up paying like $3 for these and then $4 for these. So these are medium length. These are medium length and these are long. So yeah, these are ombre. These are glitter. And these are, um, yeah. These are like me, yeah, these are cute. These are my favorite though. And then I picked up some of this liquid hydrate liquid IV hydration multiplier in the flavor I see I I can't even say it. I saw berry. Um I wanted to try this because sometimes I don't drink enough water. So um yeah, make sure I stay hydrated. And as you know, hydration improves your gut health, and so I really want to get on the track of improving my gut he gut health. I also got two of these um, peach hand soaps, and I got some toothpaste to gum detoxify by Crest. Um, I was out of lip chap, so I lip balm, so I got some Vaseline Advanced Healing. Healing. I got some gloves to clean. Y'all, gloves have gotten expensive. Like the cheapest ones I saw were like seven dollars, and I'm like, I just need them to clean my bathroom once a week, but. This, yeah, no, we're not doing that. Okay, I got some um, bananas, some ground beef, and some chips because I plan on making some Rotel dip. I got some Rotel tomatoes. I also picked up some Starbucks um, 
Virtuo pods, Nespresso pods. I am completely out. I haven't bought any in a while, so I ended up getting these. I wanted to try the blonde espresso roast. Oh, I didn't know it was espresso. Okay, well, never mind. We'll figure it out. And I also got some kombucha, Pink Lady Apple. This had really good reviews on the Walmart website. Um, I want to do like a cleanse because I've never done a cleanse before. So other than the little smoothie that I had this morning. But yeah, I want to do a cleanse. I got this Path Water. It's a, in an aluminum bottle, but they didn't my bottle up so bad. It's not even fit to reuse. But yeah, I wanted to try that. It is purified water with electrolytes added for good taste. So as you can see, my bottle's pretty dinged up. So won't be reusing that. And I got some buffalo wing sauce because I want to make some wings tomorrow. I got some ice cream sandwiches, some chicken nuggets and some Ritz crackers because my child's addicted to Ritz crackers and I got some a whole pineapple to cut up to have for a snack okay so that's everything that I got from HEB Walmart and Target I'm gonna put this away and I'm going to take a shower all right you guys I'm just gonna give you a quick glimpse of everything that I picked up from Target and Walmart um, coming from Target, I just had, I had two of these spatulas, but they only had one in stock, so they're going to ship the second one to me. Um, I just wanted to get these spatulas, like, because I plan on doing, like, some Christmas bacon. Nothing major, just maybe, like, some cupcakes or cookies or something. Um, I'm trying to get in the Christmas spirit, but it's kind of hard because I'm tired and I'm feeling overwhelmed, but we're going to make it do what it do. And then I got this this little cookie plate because I put I'm I'm been I've been making a lot of cookies lately, so I just want to have a little cute cookie plate to sit that on. Um, I also picked up this little snowman um mini waffle maker. These were on sale. For, uh oh, these were on sale for ten dollars, so I wanted to go ahead and grab one. They were original twelve dollars, so yeah, I'm gonna use this year round. Like, who doesn't love snowman pancakes? Like. Or waffles. You can do waffles and pancakes, I feel like. Um, and this, some people even do omelet. So, yeah, I'm probably going to try that out tonight because I have a craving for breakfast. Um, I picked up Devin's, Chris, one of Devin's Christmas gifts. He asked for a Samsung Galaxy phone, so I picked him up this one. It was on sale for $49.98 at Walmart. Devin's not a big talker on the cell phone. Of course, you know, he's autistic, so... Social skills are pretty much a struggle for him. So all he really wants is a bigger screen. And so he asked for the Samsung Galaxy. So there was no need in getting him all of the bells and whistles, cell phones with the plans and all that stuff and the monthly lease payments because he does not talk on the phone. If anything, he just watches YouTube from his phone and things like that. So there was no need. We just got this one. And then I got him a phone case from Walmart. This was $6.88. And the only thing I have to do now is just get him a phone card. He's on the $25 plan because he do he does like I said, he does not talk on the phone. He mostly just uses it uses it for like the data and stuff. So yeah, that was that's, that's this is really the only thing he asks for. If I don't get him anything else, he's satisfied with this. You know, the perks of having, you know, bigger kids, the things they want want are less but more expensive okay so this is everything this is another thing that i picked up from walmart i just got me a water bottle from work i wanted a white one i thought this was really cute um this was only 7.88 so i need a water bottle for work because um my other one i dropped it and the top part cracked so that's it and then over here, food items. I didn't get much. Um, I just got four things of these red smoothie fruit packets. All you do is add juice of water. I want to start drinking more smoothies in the morning instead of coffee. Because coffee sometimes gives me the jitters if I drink too much. But you can't go wrong with the fruit smoothie. These were $2.14 a bag. I also have some carne, um, some um, meat that I want to um, cook to make um, tacos with. Um, so I got some red pep, 
uh, pepper and onion blend. I like this because you don't have to cut up um, onions and uh, bell peppers. This works just as good as the fresh, probably better because you get more than one use from it. I'm also got some Miss Daisy, driving Miss Daisy sour cream. I also picked up two packs of chocolate chip cookies. We are big chocolate chip cookies lovers in my house, but we like them fresh. They're okay in the pack, but we really like them fresh. I got Devin some Country Time Lemonade. And then I had to get some waffle, pancake and waffle mix for um, the waffle iron maker. Why is my, why is Walmart, you know, I swear to God, they did up so many of my, your freaking, oh, never mind. Okay. And I also got Devin some more ramen noodles. He's back into eating ramen noodles now. And last but not least, I got some Earl Campbell's, Campbell's smoked sausage. Um. I was running low, and I don't like to run out of breakfast meats because I don't eat it a lot. So, yeah, we got some of that. So, that is everything that I picked up from um, Walmart and Target. I'm going to go ahead and make some breakfast for dinner. And then, um, yeah, we're going to just chill. It's currently 735. Probably going to chill, take a shower, and call it a night. Okay, I am cleaning out my storage while the weather is still warm because I do not want to be out here if it's freezing. So this is everything that I pulled out of my storage. A lot of it is going into the trash, especially the, the, the decor because I feel like no one really has the decor style from the stuff that I had back from 2012 and 2013. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... This is my storage. It's pretty big. Like, it has a light in here and everything. Like, yeah. So, if I would have packed it better, and there was actually a fire extinguisher in here. So, yeah, if I would have packed it better, it wouldn't have been so. But all of this whole corner is Christmas decor. And a little bit of Halloween and a handful of fall. So, don't tell me I ain't got Christmas covered. Okay, so everything right here on this little row is going to be trashed. Um, I have like shower curtains and pillows and stuff. I, I think I'm going to take the minimalist approach from now on. Because I can't be packing up this stuff every time I move. It's just too much. You don't need a lot to live. You just need a lot of love to live. So there we go. Okay, out of all the stuff that I had in storage, <laughs> this is all I have left. Talk about clutter, you guys. Throwing something in a closet just because you don't have the energy to like take it to the dumpster, I would not recommend that if you live in an apartment. So these are, this is all decor. This is my shop back. Christmas decor, Christmas decor. This box down here is actually school supplies that I had excess of. This one's Christmas decor. This is Christmas decor. Bedding, old um, Instapot. I mean, I'm sorry, old air fryer that I need to get rid of and a rug that I'm going to see if my son wants. But other than that, this is everything in the storage. And I'm going to pull this decor out later and decorate the um the apartment but right now i just got the tree pulled out and we're just going to take it one day at a time okay i'm just going to do a voiceover for this portion of the video i forgot that i had music playing in the background as i was filming filming this so i don't want to get copyrighted so i'm just going to go ahead and voice this portion over um this is just a new echo dot that i purchased to replace the one that was in my bedroom um that one kept saying it was having trouble connecting to the internet um, so I got a new one. I also picked up these Christmas press-on nails from Amazon as well. I tried those on. I really do like them. They lasted a pretty. They lasted about two weeks. Um, 
yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and hook this echo dot up i'm, st I'm still gonna keep the old one because i had the second gen one the one that looks like a hockey puck and this one definitely sounds better looks better i hate that it's not white but i can look over the fact because this one was, was on sale for twenty dollars no it was 14.99 they had them on sale but the only thing that i that i don't like is that it it's not white and it doesn't blend with the aesthetic of my bedroom but that's okay i still love it anyway Now you wishing I was with me living life so 